Okay, this is the part five of the walkthrough or tutorial, whatever you want to call it, on the best scope. Um, this actually isn't the best scope. Um, the one I actually made is. Um, yeah. It's because I didn't have the proper materials like I did back when I actually did that scope. Because I don't have like that the real duct tape on me. The crosshairs are all right, I guess. But it's not the best it could be. Anyway, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the uh, <clears throat> the dials and the focus knob. The dials are pretty easy. Those three... Where's the other one? All right. These three um, pieces that I showed you to cut before, what you want to do is... Take your Sharpie, just for some extra detail, and just, like, make a line across it. And just... You know, make a lot. Give it some detail. Alright, <clears throat> once you've got that, take your glue gun or tape. You can use tape, but I prefer the glue gun. It's more sturdy. sturdy. Wait, actually, not yet. I'm going to take another roll of paper. Roll up some more paper. Keep those to the side. It needs to be thinner than the other roll that you made for these because they need to fit in here. Those are going to be the knobs and for the dials. <clears throat> it needs to be thinner than that. Extremely thin so that it can spin inside of the little Johnny. Oh crap. That's too big. Sorry, it's too big. Alright, just take your time doing this, make... <clears throat> just make sure that it can fit through the hole before you tape it. Tape up that nice roll. You're not going to use the whole roll, just like I said before. So don't tape all of it up. Just tape up like a bit less than half of it. Like this much. Just tape up like right up to there, just to save yourself some time. <clears throat> and material. Now what you want to do is cut it about like um half more the size than the other side, so like this much. So that when you stick it inside here it'll turn. So you wanna keep making some of those. And another. Okay. <clears throat> now, keep these. Those are going to be the things that spin. And these are the actual holders for the knobs. Now, get your. Where did my scope go? Oh, alright. Um, whatever you want to be the top of my scope, what do I want to be? Alright, whatever. So. Um, you're going to take this, you're going to put one on top, right here, so you're going to glue, this is the bottom, glue this right here, put that right on top, right in the middle, actually a little bit more than the middle, I did it wrong, because um, the focus knob goes here, just like over here in this, as an example, focus knob. See, the dials are like toward the middle. The focus knob there. 
I just keep doing that. Oh. Take your next one. Put it almost all the way at a 90 degree turn, but more of like a 45 degree turn, like right here, going vertically. So it looks like that. Now take your next one also. I'll move that around here. Glue right here. <clears throat> this one should be dry already. <clears throat> um, for your focus knobs, if you want, just take a strip of paper, anything from scraps or whatever. Cut out like a square. You can make it round if you want. Just cut out a square very quickly. Take your knob cover that hole. I'm going to put that with tape. I'm going to just put it with glue because it's faster for me. Time goes is going by too quickly. He's got this one already. So you've got that dial. I'm going to cut it to fit the shape. Cut around it. To get it more round or whatever. So I can look like this or whatever. See? So this will spin. This should be able to spin. Now do the rest with the others. Like I said, just cut a small piece or whatever. Take the knob. Take the piece. Paste it. Cut around it. Oh, sorry, you couldn't get that. I'm just cutting the edges so that it can fit more and look a little more round than just a square. So you've got that. Stick that in there. Now for the last one. Um, cut another strip, little piece, put some glue around it, attach it. around it. And there's your dials. Now your dial should be able to turn, not too loosely so they don't fall out, but they should be able to turn freely without that much of a struggle. Those are your dials. Okay, for the focus knob, what I do is cut off a strip. small strip. Just look at <clears throat> how much is it from here to here. Strip about this big, depending on where you put your dials. Alright, see you in the next vid because we're running out of time.